to you. Then the rest two programs I will make use to, uh, guys itself to execute in the class itself. So that's how the session will go. Okay, so today is a demo session. So I'm just going to give a uh, intro introduction to Selenium, how it works. Okay. Directly, we'll be jumping on with the Selenium web driver. Okay. So if you want to work on with Selenium web driver, so what is first needed for us means, so we need Eclipse here. Okay, Eclipse is what means, is the tool which will help you to write the Java code. That's what. So first you need Java. Then after that, you need Eclipse here. So Java, how you can download. So I'm going to give a document. So every session is actually what full and full is clearly documented for you. So you can see the documentation with screenshots you can get from here. So how the program will be executed, all those steps, I'll be explaining to you on Monday. As of now, directly we'll go on with installation. So procedure for Java installation. Okay, first I need to check whether do we have Java in the system. So for that, open your command prompt. Just type here, Java space, iPhone version. That gives you the Java version. In case if you get any information as Java is not a recognized command like this, see? Like this if you get. So that time you need to install Java. So to install Java, just give your Java download, okay? Download free Java software will be there. Just click on free Java download. So agree and start free download will come. So once you click on it, you will be getting an exe file. Just double click on the exe file. Then click on next, next, next. The Java will be installed for you. That's it. Okay. Guys? Then after installing the Java, you need JDK to be installed. To install the JDK, same thing what you have to do means just give JDK download. Okay, so click on the first icon as you should. You will be getting JDK here. Okay, so next one is NetBeans, but we need this Java platform JDK. Click on that. Once you click on it, you will be getting accept license agreement here. So right now you can go for this. Okay, make sure you go for development kit 8u like that not the demos okay make sure you go for the full set then here check whether it is a windows 64 bit or 32 bit okay 86 represent 32 bit 64 represent 64 bit here mac means go for this okay ubuntu machines means go for this that's the thing okay so now how you can confirm your system is a 32 bit or 64 bit so go to your my computer Right click properties. There you can see information whether your system type is 64 bit or 32 bit. Okay, this is the place you can confirm whether it's 64 bit or 32 bit. Click yes. Then next. So once you download this exe file, just double click on the exe file, click on next, 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 and then install it. Then your JDK also will be installed. That's it. So once the Java and JDK is installed, so again, close your previous command prompt, open the new command prompt, just give your as Java space iPhone version. That gives you the version of the Java and JDK. So once you install this, you can see in your C drive, okay, go to your C drive. You can see program files. Go to the program files, you can see a Java folder will be created. And inside the Java folder, you can see JDK and then JRE, okay? Okay, so this JRE is what, when you install Java, you will get. This JDK, you will get once you install the JDK, that's the thing. Okay, so once the installation of JDK is done, 
we have to set the path for it. So for that, go inside the GDK folder, go to the bin folder, okay, then copy this path. Okay, inside the bin folder you have to go, okay. So this is the place where you have all the application files here. Okay, so copy this path, then after that, go to your my computer, right click properties, then advanced system settings. Then here go to advanced tab, environment variables. Then here you just come down, you have path. Okay. So click on edit. Then go to the end of the file, give a semicolon, then control V. So you have the JDK path here. Clear this? Then click on OK. Then OK. So already I have, so I'll just delete this thing so that I don't want this question. Okay. I already have that information that's available. Okay, so click on OK, OK, and OK. Okay. So this is the thing. This is how you can install the JDK. Then again, close your command prompt, open the new command prompt, then give here again Java space iPhone version. That gives your JDK version here. That gives your JDK version. That's it. Okay, guys. So anyone has any questions so far? Everyone understood this part? Any questions so far for anyone? Okay, same information. What are the things we have, I have ex explained? You can see here with screenshots. So for JDK download, you can go to the Google and search for it. Click on this URL. Then go for this JDK. Click on the accept license agreement. Then search, select which one exe file you need to download. Then after that, go to your run. Okay, so that means you can also press Windows and then R button that opens the run command. Okay, here also you can type CMD and then click on OK. This is also possible. Okay, so then after that, go to your C drive, program files, Java, the JDK bin folder. Okay, so right now mine is actually 1.7. Same thing, you have to check what is your version. Then go to your my computer, right click properties. Okay, then advanced tab environment variables. Okay, click on advanced system settings, then you'll get the advanced tab environment variables. Okay, then here search for path and system variables. Then here you give okay, edit it, paste the path. Then give a semicolon. Okay, make sure you give a semicolon. Okay, give a semicolon and then give the path. Click on OK and OK. OK, okay. that's it. Then finally, close the command prompt and open the new command prompt and type Java Spice version. Clear this? Uh, just give me in the chat windows yes if you understood it. And then let me know one small thing whether I'm going fast or is the face is okay. Uh, is my face is also okay? Uh, I'm not going fast now. Good. Okay. Thanks guys. Okay. So now we have installed the Java. Next we will install the Eclipse. So to install the Eclipse, so what we have to do means here in the Google, just give Eclipse Kepler download. That is, make sure you give some version name. Okay, just give any version name here. Okay, I'm giving Eclipse Kepler. Kepler is one version there. Why I'm asking you to give some version name is because once you give a version name, you can directly go to the place where the all the version names are available all the releases okay you can see all the names 
So make sure you use a version which is Kepler or more than that. Okay, that is what it's best for you. Okay, guys. So I like Kepler because the UI I like for the Kepler. So I'm trying to go with Kepler here. Okay, then here click on Eclipse IDE for Java WE developers. Okay, that's what you have to do. So here click whether this is a Windows 32 bit or 64 bit, Mac 32 bit or 64 bit, then Ubuntu machine means Linux. So mine is a 64 bit. So once you click on it, it'll be going for the download section. Okay. So here you can click on download and then the Eclipse will be downloaded. Once it downloads, you can see an exe file like this. You will be getting, sorry, uh, a zip file like this. Okay. So right click on the zip file, extract here. Once you click on this extract here, you will get a folder called Eclipse here. That's it. Okay, you will get a folder called Eclipse here. Open that, you can see this Eclipse application here. Okay, so Eclipse level, you don't need any installation. Directly download and then use it. That's it. Okay, just directly download it and then you can start using for it. So double click on the Eclipse icon. So for this also, I have for you with screenshots. Okay, every installation will be with screenshots only for you. So you'll not be getting confused for that. So here, Eclipse installation. So how to get that Eclipse Kepler download we gave and then we went for this link. Then we downloaded which package we want. Okay, so which version we want. Then after that, to open the Eclipse, we went to the Eclipse folder and clicked on this Eclipse application. Once you clicked on it, you will be getting a workspace launcher like this. So that's what this. Okay, you will get a workspace launcher like this. So what does this workspace launcher mean? It will give you an information where you need to save your Java programs that you're going to write. Okay, where the Java programs should be saved. That's what it will give for you. Okay, so you should be there in C drive. So you make sure you save it in a different folder. So I'll browse, go to Murli laptop. Okay, under the D drive, I'm going to Murli laptop. Then after that, after that, I'll just create a new folder here. So I'll create it as learning Eclipse. Okay, learning Eclipse. I recommend here. Okay, learning Eclipse. Eclipse I recommend. So click on enter. So then click on OK. So you can see that information we have got. Okay, so then I'll click on OK here. So if you can see, if I come to the D drive, I have go to Moodle laptop. Here I have given my information and newly created folder, learning Eclipse. See? That is what here we have. Okay. So we have got this place. Okay. So we have got it. I'll go inside. Then I'm going to click on OK here. Once I click on OK, you can see there will be some files will be created for you here. Okay. We'll see. Just a second, guys. I'm coming. Two minutes. <laughs> Hello. 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 Yeah, hi, who's this? Hi, yeah, this is Murli. Hi, who's this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you're actually. Uh, what's your name? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hi. Yeah, hi, Karthi. Oh, yeah, yeah, just now actually the session has been started. From today only actually the session has been. 
Actually, it's. Oh, is it, uh, it possible? Can I have your uh, email ID? I can send you that. Uh, just a second. Two minutes. Guess just a second, guys. Hello, hey, hi guys. Sorry, sorry for the delay. So now we have uh, got this welcome screen over here. Okay, so once you open that actually what Eclipse workflow space, you will be getting this welcome page. So just click on this. I right now I don't want this welcome page, so I'll close that. Okay, so what we have done means simple, we have just Clicked on this actually what Eclipse icon. Once we click on it, we just give a folder where I can save the Eclipse, uh, sorry, by uh, Java projects here. Okay, so this is the place. So I got the dot material data, remote system temp files. These two will be there. Then after that, my workspace is created here. So I'll now, first, what I need to do means I need to create a project. So how the Java works means so first we need. A project then we need a package then we need a class file or a Java files here okay so we will be seeing in depth information of this how this Java file class files everything works okay so today I'm going to a little bit jump and then going to show you about the selenium web driver directly so that actually what you will understand the overview of selenium as of now for this two days then from monday onwards you will be understanding java in a very detailed oriented okay guys so first i'll create the project so to create the project go to file go to file new then go to project click on the project then you can go for the java folder otherwise you can see java project here okay click on the java project click on next so once you click on next here okay you will be getting this new java project this folder okay guys here you have to give the project name so i'll just give selenium learn Okay, how is it? learn selenium i'll just give okay then select the environment so this is important so make sure you select the version so java se 1.7 or 1.8 you guys will be hiring so make sure which one you need so minus 1.7 right now click on it okay then after that you click on finish so you can use 1.7 right now i'm also having 1.8 here if i select this it's 1.8 so i'll select as of 1.7 then i'll click on finish now for me a project will be created i'll click on yes then click on finish okay see learn selenium a project is created so I'll close the unwanted windows. Then if I open that, you can see a source folder and then a JRE system library will be there for me. Okay, a source folder and then a JRE system library will be there. So now if I open the JRE system library, you can see a lot of jar files will be there which are all required for me to execute the Java programs. Okay, but I need to execute my Selenium programs using the Java. 
okay so if they want to work on with selenium again they need to add some more jar files okay so these jar files are near, more than enough for me to execute my run uh, write and then run my java programs but my intention is to execute my files which is actually what related to selenium so for that i need to go to the selenium hq website so the official website of selenium is seleniumhq.org go to this website here you can see download click on the download section okay here if you come little bit down you can see selenium client and web driver will be there okay so right now the latest version is 3.4 so how to work on 3.4 uh, version i'll tell you later right now i'll click on the previous releases okay so the left side under the downloads you can see selenium uh, sorry previous releases will be let's see under the download section left side previous releases click on it so like i'm gonna take the old version then click on 2.53 okay we got the selenium 2.53 here here click on selenium java 2.531.zip this is the zip file we need okay so once you download this you will be getting so you will be getting here a zip file like this so right click and click on extract here so once you extract here you can see a folder selenium 2.531 go inside that so we need these two jar files and then these 21 jar files that need to be added to the project so for that what we need to do means so go to the eclipse right click on my project then click on build path okay then after that configure build path okay click on build path configure build path here you can see library section okay here click on add external jars okay so it will be there under the java build section here java build path library tab add external jars then after that go for the selenium 2.53.1 see these two jar files are needed for me Click on open, add external jars. Under the library folder, you can see again these jar files here. Open. That's it. Click everyone. Okay. Click on OK. So once again, I will do. So if I want the Selenium related jar files, okay. So once I create it, I will be getting the reference library like this. Okay. If I want the Selenium related jar files, right click on the project, go to build path configure build path under the libraries tab add external jars then search where you have the 2.531 folder okay then add the jar files here that's it so i have already added so this is how you have to add all your jar files clear once you download the new jar files for selenium you will be getting the reference libraries Clear this. So now I can write my Java programs plus the Selenium related programs. Okay. Now, so we have added it. So now to write the Selenium program. So first we have created the project. Then now we have to create the package for us right now. So how to get the package? So we have, we will see now. So right click on the source folder. Go to new then after that click on package okay click on package here so then in the package you have to just give the package name so i'll just give learn um so usage of selenium i'll just give so usually package name should be started with the small letter so if you are giving it as capital letter, it gives you discourage package name. So it's not mandatory that you need to start with a small letter, but the standard practice is to start with a small letter. That's it. Okay. Even if you have it in a capital letter also, it will work. 
Okay, so usage of Selenium, I'll just get, click on finish. So we got it. Now, right click on the package, go to new, then create a class. So I'll just give, I'll just give as of now, login, logout. So I'm just trying to log in and log out from an application. So that's what the exercise we're gonna do for today. I'll click on default, then I'll click on finish. So what I did means so simple. After creating the package, so how I created the package, right click on the source folder, new package, then gave the package name, click on okay, I got this package name. Then after the package, I want to create a class. So I already told you project package, then the class or Java files. So I want to create the class files now. Right click on the package, new class. Okay. So here I gave the name. So I'll just give another class I'll create. So as of now, new learning. Learning, I'll just give. Okay. Click on default. Then click on finish. That's it. Okay. I gave the class name. Click on this default icon as of now. Click on finish. Clear? So you can see the package name is usage selenium and then my class name is new learning. Okay, as of now I'll increase the font size. Go to window, preferences, type your font, colors and fonts, open the basic folder, click on text font, edit, just give as of now 13, click on OK, apply. So yeah, so this is okay. That's it. Clear guys. So anyone has any questions so far? How we created the project package and then a class file. Okay. So please ping me in the chat window as yes. If you have understood so far. Anyone has any questions? Cool. Uh, I want from others also. Cool. Everyone you are clear about as the topic what you're running now. Huh? You're able to follow me. Cool, yes. Yeah. Thank you. So let me continue. Okay, so now we have created the package and then a class. So here in Java and Selenium, when we want to execute a program, we need a main function mandatory. Okay, so what is this main function here means? So I'll type M-A-I-M. Okay, then press control plus space button. Okay, then click on end. Okay, guys. So just type M A I N control plus space button, click on enter. We'll be getting public static void main. That's it. Okay, public static void main here. So this is needed for the main function for us to execute. Clear? Yeah. So here in this main function, now we will write the programs. Every information that we used to, okay, write here in this main function only will be executed. Okay, guys. Just guys, everyone are able to hear my voice now. Okay, so now I gave the main function. So then next, I'll start to execute the program. So first, in the program, in the execution, what we need to do is, so first I need to open my Firefox browser, okay? Then after that, 
I need to enter my URL. So my URL, I'll give. I'm trying to just open a project management application. Morley iPhone PC slash login dot two. So that's what. Okay. So I have opened my URL, open the browser, enter the URL, then I'm going to enter the username, then enter the password, then click on the checkbox, click on the login button, then finally I'm going to click on logout, then after that I want to close the browser. That's it. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. Okay. So simple. Open the browser, enter the URL, then enter the username, password, click on this checkbox, click on the login button. Then after that, click on logout and finally close the browser okay guys that's it so we'll see how to do that so in selenium if i go to the selenium hq website i'll go to the selenium hq website go to the download section totally selenium supports totally seven types of languages to automate so that is I'll go to the documentation. You can see Java, C Sharp, Python, Ruby, PHP, Perl, and JavaScript. Worldwide, everyone, most of them uses actually what Java. Okay, so that's what is being used worldwide. The next one is actually what it's being used Python, Ruby, C Sharp, like that. Okay, so we'll go for the Java. Go to the download section. Here, yeah, if you come down a little bit. Okay, here you can see Selenium client and web driver here. So go to the Java section. Here you click on the Java docs. Okay, so what is the Java doc means? Java doc will give you the packages that are related to Selenium and then the classes and interfaces constant that are needed for the Selenium. So where this has been taken means I will go to the Eclipse in the reference library. So this Selenium, this is the Selenium jar file, an important jar file, which has and everything that is needed for to work on with Selenium web elements. Web element means, so in the browser we have this text, text box, check box, all informations are called as web elements. Okay, so if I open that jar file, you can see all these packages. Okay, so the packages which are all listed here that will be listed here. Okay, so if I click on this Selenium, you can see these are the interfaces and these are the classes. Okay, so interfaces will be in italic case, classes will be in normal case, and these are the exception handling classes. Okay. So if we open this, you can see information. That's it. So it's like we are giving information here, what things we have here. So then if I click on this information, okay, if I click on this class here, again, it will give me, so what are the interfaces that are being implemented by this class? Okay, then what are the methods, constructors we have? So if we have any method, so what that method is going to do, those all information, it will be unique for me here. Okay, that's what this Java doc here. Okay, so why I came here means, if you see each and every browser has its own browser related classes. So what are the browsers that can be automated through Selenium means, one is Chrome, Firefox, IE, and then we have Safari, Opera, okay. So these are the browsers that can be automated through Selenium. So Chrome, it has its own package. 
then these are the classes related to chrome the chrome driver class is for to open the open the chrome browser okay use for to work on with chrome browser same thing firefox has its own firefox driver class same thing ie has its own internet explorer driver class okay same thing for safari and then opera also works so now i am going to work on with firefox okay so firefox i want to work so for that so the firefox driver is the class name correct huh? so if i'm going to create an object for the firefox driver class so what is object and all those stuff i'll be explaining to you when we come to java so from monday onwards we we'll go those informations in a very detailed manner so as of now just object means this is a syntax so in our class we are not going to by heart any syntax we are going to understand why the syntax we are going to write it everything step by step so as of now alone i am going to write directly because you are new to java and selenium based on that i am just trying to write it so firefox driver driver is equal to new firefox driver i'll just give so right now when i try to create this is how we create the object okay new firefox driver will help me to create the object then the driver is the object name then this firefox driver is the reference here okay so i created the object so it's throwing me error what is the error means i mouse over to the error it's saying import me the firefox driver package okay so i'll click on it once i click on it see what happens an extra one more line it will come here import org dot open qa dot selenium dot firefox dot firefox driver so what is that let's see this is the package we have org dot open qa dot selenium dot firefox that's my package can you see that's what this that has a class called firefox driver so this is what is given so when i import this so all the methods under this class can be used under used under this class that's it okay that's what we are doing here click this so no need to worry if you are not able to understand you are thinking this is too much or something okay so right now you no need to worry once we start with java you will be feeling that these concepts are very easier okay don't panic that you uh, you think if you think that actually what these are all very little bit uh, more information something okay it's are all so easy because right now i have not explained you about java so that's why you might feel a little bit tough but it's a so easy concept i'll make you to understand the easier concept so then now when i run this program right click run as java application i'll just give so this command okay will help me to open the firefox browser see it will open now one firefox browser see this is how can you see it has opened me the firefox browser same thing if i want to work on with chrome if i want to open a browser for chrome so simple i need to give here chrome driver so i'll just click on the chrome i just need to give chrome driver driver equal to new chrome driver so import the chrome driver package okay okay so i'll just run it right now it will throw me an error we'll see illegal state exception the path driver can you see the path to the driver executable must be set by the webdriver.chrome.driver system property 
So what that it's saying means I need to set the property for the Chrome. So Firefox is a default browser for the Selenium. But Chrome, IE, Opera, Safari are the third party drivers. So for that to understand, if I go to the Selenium HQ official website, download section, here you can see Selenium client and web driver is there. Na? Okay, so here, oh sorry, not there. Third party drivers is there. Na? There you can see Google Chrome is there. Okay, Opera is there. So if you want to work on with these things, you need to download those driver files. So I click on the version of the Google Chrome. Okay, so how I come to this page is simple. Google Chrome driver is enough. Click on this version. There you can see Linux, Mac, Windows. So why does it Windows? So once you download this, you will be getting an exe file like this. Okay, you will be getting an exe file like this. That's it. Okay, so this exe file need to be run before invoking the Chrome browser. So for that, we need to set the system property. So how to set this? So simple, I'll get the code from the Google itself. Open Chrome browser in Selenium. I'll just click. I'm just trying to give open Chrome browser in Selenium. So here they are given this command system dot set property. I'll just copy this. I'll paste this. That's it. So system dot set property web driver dot chrome dot driver. So that's what here also they are given web driver dot chrome driver system property I need to set. Then I need to give the location where my chrome driver dot exe file is located. So this is the place my chrome driver dot exe file is located. So press shift key right click copy as path will be there copy this okay then i'll paste the path here okay so we need to give in double forward uh, double backward slash for selenium here okay we need to give it in double backward slash to make sure so that's it so what will happen means so before invoking the chrome driver it will invoke the exe file that is the java code comes and double click on the exe file then it will run at the back end okay then after that actually what my chrome driver will start to work that's it so right click run as java application now if you see chrome browser will be open for me You can see a Chrome browser will open here. See, Chrome browser is open. Same thing for IE browser if you want. You can just give. I'll go to this section. So I'll close this. Oh, sorry, guys. Same thing, if I just give IE, Internet Explorer driver is there. I need to give Internet Explorer driver here. Then I need to import that Internet Explorer driver. Instead of Chrome, I need to give here IE. Okay, web driver dot IE dot driver. Then I need to give my IE driver. So this where I need to download means, so under the Selenium HQ website. So third party drivers, but before that itself, you can see for Internet Explorer separately will be there. Okay, so 32 bit or 64, minus 64 bit. Just when you click on it, the download will happen. Then you'll get this exe file. Okay, and again, shift, right click, press the shift button, right click, copy as path. Okay, then delete the old path paste it then make it a double backward slash that's it 
okay so now when you right click run as java application for you now internet explorer browser will be opened that's it see it's opening in this port internet explorer browser is open that's it clear this it's so simple why each and everything is opening this when you create an object for that browser related classes those specific browsers will be open okay right now i want to work on with firefox browser open the firefox browser now yeah so for firefox browser i told in 2.53 all it's like default browser no specifically i need to create the browser uh, system property i no need to give any exe file to be downloaded for that so i'll just give firefox driver driver equal to new firefox driver yeah uh please just ping me in the chat windows yes if you are able to understand everyone understood it um i hope so i'm not going fast i'm going in a proper phase i hope so please stop me if i'm going faster and then if i'm not able to understand let me know guys okay cool thanks guys uh sindhu you are able to hear my voice now are you able to hear my voice now okay cool so now i have opened the firefox browser now what i need to do after opening the firefox browser i need to enter the url so to copy the url i'll just click here copy it so to enter the url in the firefox browser i need to give driver dot get and then in double quotes i need to enter the url information always make sure you give the url with http protocol that is important okay so always we need to enter the url with http protocol here that is important for us here clear is so now i entered the url so right click run as java application opens me the firefox browser now it will enter me the url information see opens me the firefox browser now it will enter the url then click on enter so now it has opened me the firefox browser and enter the url now i need to type the username and password so for that okay i'll open the firefox browser i will right click inspect element with firefox i'll open so i'll tell you what is this firebug and all those things when we come to selenium so as of now what is this firebug toolbox it will give you the html section for this page that's what okay it just help you to give the html information of this page so i'll inspect then i will click on this element which i need to automate so i want to automate this element so that is a username text box here okay so you can see this is the tag name so any information in the html we will call it as tags here okay input is a tag name which it is having properties like this see i'll open that so input is a tag name it has properties class type value okay so these are the properties for it okay guys so now as of now there are eight different ways i can identify an element in selenium okay so just i'll go there are eight different ways i can identify an element in selenium so name id class name link text partial link text tag name css and xpath these are the different ways that i can identify an element here clear guys so now for me okay so i am going to so by dot name is there so do we have name attribute here yes we have name attribute so that is value is user name so how to identify the element here means okay
So if I want to any enter work on with automate some elements in the Selenium list, for that the command is driver dot find element, then by dot. Okay, so I am going to identify this element through help of name. Name, then in double quotes give the value that we found. So what is the value for that? It's username. Username. Then what I need to do, I need to type my username there. So for that, dot send keys is the command. Then in double quotes give admin. That's it. So what is this driver means? This driver is the browser here. That is with this command only when we open the browser. So for the browser, we named it as driver. So here it's going to be driver dot get. So in the browser, you enter the URL which is given here. Then now in the browser, that is the driver. Okay, in the browser find an element which is matching with the name attribute called username. So this element is what matching with the name username text here. Okay, with the username text. So that's what we do. Okay, so dot sync keys admin will help me to type admin into it. Okay, right click, run as Java application. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now it opens the Firefox browser, enter the URL enters admin into it that's it okay guys so this is what we typed it so next driver dot find element then next is what the password text box is there now I'll inspect this. So for that also we have name, then type, class like that we have different things. So I'll go with name, again it's pwd. By dot, name, by dot name, then in double quotes I will give pwd. That's what we got it here. Okay. Then again, dot, send keys, then I'll just give manager. Clear this? So I give admin and manager here. Admin, manager. Then I need to click on the checkbox. So if I inspect that, it is having input ID equal to keep logged in checkbox. Type is checkbox. Value is on. Then name is remember. So I can go with name. Otherwise, ID also I can go. So I already told you, I can also identify an element through ID also, by dot ID. So I'll just give driver dot find element by dot ID. Then in double quotes, give the information. ID is keep logged in checkbox. Dot send keys. And then, sorry, it's not send keys here, checkbox we need to click on it, correct? So dot click. Click is the command to click on the checkbox. Clear? Then after that I need to click on the login button. So that also I need to click on it. So here we have ID, then we have class. So we can also identify the element through class name also. Okay, so as of now I'll take the class name. The value for it is initial. I'll take that. So driver dot find element by dot class name in double quotes give the value. So there also I need to click on it. That's it. So now let me run that Java application. Right click run as Java application is what we need to give. So it will open the browser now. Enter the URL. 
enter the username password click on the checkbox now it has clicked on the login button that's it clear guys anyone has any questions so far anyone has any questions everyone understood guys okay cool so with this i'll stop it for okay so now if i want to close the browser so for the driver dot close so close is the command which will help me to close the browser okay so when i right click run as java application this time what will happen it will open the browser enter the url then enter my username password and then my click on the checkbox click on the login button and finally closes my browser also see clicks on the login button then it closes the browser that's it clear guys anyone has any questions so far okay hope so my uh, face is uh, my uh, face is clear i hope so so in case if you want me to speed up or if you want me to slow up or anything you always you are welcome that actually what you can give me feedbacks so that i can be more interactive and then i can make the class in a moving in a good way okay guys okay thank you so with this i'll stop it for today so this code information what are things that have been shared so i'll be forwarding to you then also i'll be actually what sending the youtube url so usually i'll be sending the youtube url like this for you so so usually i'll be giving information like this so it's like what are the topics that we have taken for today okay and then the youtube url to watch the video and then the attachment for you so if uh, today i have written the code on this file now so that file information those codes will be sent to you here that's how it works clear for everyone okay yes so with this i'll stop it for today then tomorrow again we'll meet by morning 7 a.m thank you thanks so much guys thank you bye bye